basically it's a contract because of your cameras, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, once he's finished doing that, does anybody live with you on the same address? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're all okay. separate. We're all you're separate all separate, so you're all going to sign in separately then? Okay. okay. Not a problem. And you are who on the reservation? Oh, Kim. Kim. Or under Kim. Yeah. Kim. Oh, there you is. Oh, you have a tendency to walk away when I leave him here. Understood. It will not damage the wolves in any way. That way you don't bring any contaminations to them. Thank you. So that the wolves will come up and let you catch the Clorox smell. So you guys will hear a lot more information about all the different wolves here from Tanya. She is the owner. She is Mama Wolf. She is Mama to all the wolves that come here, past and present, and hopefully all the future that we get. And alpha. And very alpha. <laughs> very alpha. <laughs> Love her to pieces, but she... <laughs> so just to let you know that uh, Nene is very intelligent about all the animals. She was a, a teacher at one time. So she has a lot of information to give you. So just try to pay attention as much as you can, okay? Wea, right there. Wea is an Alaskan black, and she is four years of age. And uh, she's pretty incredible. Everybody thinks oh, God, all wolves are born with a wolf face. Very rare. And those make them worth a lot of money. But... Oh. <laughs> She came from. Yeah. Yeah. You see, he's trying to get your sink glass. <laughs> Let her rub on you. If you push her away, she won't like you. Way ahead. It's the girls I'm worried about. I tell everybody we got the stank. They'll go be She went to the better on it. Never pat. Wea, you got a boyfriend? You can talk to her. She knows her name. Hi. But I don't want to. I gotta keep watching, Jake. I'm sorry. The long fur on the outside is hollow like a straw. The under fur is so dense and so thick that it doesn't let anything through to their skin. So where we have one hair, one follicle. I barely have that left, especially after last week. <laughs> they have 10 to 20 hairs per one follicle. Yeah, <laughs> that's why they can handle sub-zero temperatures and stuff like that. 10 to 20 hairs per follicle is amazing. If people think there's one howl and everybody howls the same howl, there's 15 individualized ones. So when they're howling at a moon, at the time of the moon, they're not howling at the moon, they're howling because of it. Okay. Biggest hunting times are dusk and dawn, so on a full moon night, they can work head to a dress. So, these guys use about 20% howling, about 40% body language, contrary to what everybody was told in the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, 90s. The males don't run the pack. You know. It's a lot more female oriented, so it's more fun. Final way that they communicate, last 40%, is scenting. And there are seven scent glands on each foot. So cheek, cheek, paw, 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 and tail. Get right in there and give them some love. Okay? When I tell you how much fur they have, you can't pat them like a dog and you can't do creepy guy touch. <laughs> when you touch them, you gotta get your fingers all the way in there and deep. He's not gonna hurt you. He's a love bug. Just on him, just don't go under his chin. He has a little sister thing in there. Hot ball toe, just a wee boy. I know that they have all the sink lands. The only one that's usually visible is the one right above the tail head or below the hip tail head, that black rectangle is the one that carries musk in it. So once a year you can smell them and that's it. You ready? But from that on that. So, the only thing that smells a wolf is another wolf. The drop, come on. Pretty neat, huh? The drop. <laughs> only thing that smells a wolf is another wolf. And so, uh, pretty incredible that the minimum they can smell is a mile and a half. Minimum? Minimum. Well. Maximum is over 30. You think that doesn't include your body? Boy, are you Yosha is the under two-year-old. 
Neosha is a joke. Neosha means cool, rippling water. If something gets on your lap and every time it gets on your lap, it pees. <laughs> is that cool, rippling water? Not. <laughs> Just say hi. You gotta talk to these guys. You gotta get down to their level. Neosha. Neosha. Oh my God. What have I got? Honey? Yeah. Just call her over there. Here, get some love. There you go. Yes, look at me. Oh, you're showing your teeth. What a big girl. You can call her right over. Yeah. See how tentative she is with you guys? The back legs are spread and ready to sprint. <laughs> <laughs> huh. His name's Denali, so talk to him. Hi, Denali. Denali. The chin rub. There you go. <laughs> So it's kind of every day, a lot of times in the day, I bring him out. Aww. <laughs> oh, he said, man, we're dead. Denali <laughs> is 12. Hello. I gave him one one day, and it was two frozen together. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. If you give him like a... Yes. I'm getting those crunches on. Was that a bone? It's a bone. It's chicken and bone. Aspen Black and Prophet is Mackenzie Valley, but he's been severely, severely inbred because the breeders make about thousand dollars over and above what whatever thousands they were going to make if they're born with a mask. Hmm. They're worth more money. Wolves only have three or four babies a litter, not six, not eight, not ten. And uh, Jen Jen what loves to kiss. She loves to wet Willie, the gentleman. She loves men with facial fur. Uh, she's <laughs> not using her fingers. She uses her tongue in her ear and up her nose. Hello. Look at your ears. Look at your ears. Hello. So, anyhow, these two were brought here by animal control. Somebody sold these two to a 13 year old girl in the big hair with a four foot fence. Wow. Four foot fence. Oh, yeah. You're so strong. They can stand the joy. Look at the one you have. You sure? What's up, Prophet? Prophet is so severely inbred. He is the only one here that barks. When I said they have three to four babies a litter, I meant it. Um, they're so aware of their footprint in our universe, they don't overpopulate. So if there's not an abundance so of food, smart. Oh, oh. what do you see? Oh, you're getting the first kiss. Oh. The first kiss. <laughs> yeah. Second kiss. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's up? What's up, little buddy? Hi. Good. Oh. Oh, oh. No, 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 Dude, he loves you, man. <laughs> you want your scent? Why does he love the back of my head so much? <laughs> you guys, well, we salty. either have a neck ache, back ache, huh. stress. Oh, I have a neck injury. Uh, <laughs> that's why. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> dude, wow. we talked about dude. this yesterday, dude. It came true. Legit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We legit talked about this yesterday. <laughs> dude, I'm so happy right now. <laughs> What's up, Paul? Kisses. Kisses. He's like, he's like, that's right. Yeah. Now I'm in the guys today. In one day. Yeah. Oh, shut up, cat. <laughs> oh, the black cat. <laughs> That's a cat. 19 year old cat, right? Well, mine just passed away. Aww. So I had to put her down. She had pancreatitis. 
And he's a wild cat. It took me one week to train him. Aw. Tame him down. Yeah. Wow. Those eyes. He's, he's, he's showing up. So there was five of you? Yeah. yeah. Okay. There's five brochures. Thank you. Hello, you're all in different addresses. When is your birthday? First off, month and day. October 30th. October. Oh, you're the same as my mother. You are. Oh, you're the snake. <laughs> <laughs> you snake. <laughs> I have to tell you this story. My mother. Usually animals don't bother her. She was mowing the grass one day when we were kids. And we had an electric mower. I look out the window. She's going. Mm -hmm. like this. I said, what are you doing? I'm going to get this snake if it kills me. I said, Ma, turn it off. Get in the house. <laughs> of course, at that time, I'm a kid. You know, I don't know any different. You know, I just pick up, mm -hmm. do all kinds of weird things. So <laughs> I go out there. I find the snake. It's a little garden snake. Mm -hmm. Throw him over the fence back out into the field behind the house. Ma, it's all taken care of. Go ahead. You can finish the yard now. <laughs> <laughs> My mom and I, we were something else. <laughs> what is your birthday? August 5th. August 5th. You are the salmon. Okay. Now you will need to get a book that is listed at the bottom of each page that will tell you what your animal sign is uh, about the outline is trying to tell you. Okay, uh, so September 25th, you're the crow. Sorry. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so true. Look. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's funny. When you read these, yeah. you see yourself in there. Mm -hmm. wow. It's really, really amazing. I'm like, I'm like, ideas.